So Enzo was one of the best, if not the best, point guards ever to play at York University. Uh, I kind of equated his abilities to a water bug. He was one of those little bugs that skirted all over the top of the surface of a, of a pond. He was very, very quick, uh, superb, excellent ball handler, and uh, his patented move was a spin dribble. So whenever he got into trouble, he would spin. And I had a lot of trouble initially when he first came here dealing with that because I had not taught it, I'd never seen it, and I couldn't see how other teams wouldn't capitalize when he turned their back on them. It became very apparent, however, that he could spin in a telephone booth and uh, was no problem whatsoever. I do recall one uh, situation where we were playing Carlton, um, again, quite a few years ago, and uh, Carlton, uh, at the end of the game, uh, was pressing us, and uh, they were trying to get back in the game. We had a nice little lead, and uh, I remember that they were stealing the ball, running in a layup, stealing the ball, running their offense, and finally I got very frustrated with a couple of minutes to go, and I think Enzo was in probably his freshman or his uh, sophomore year. I just got so upset, I walked down to Enzo and said, Enzo, go break the press. Enzo went in the game, we got him the ball, and, and it was over. Uh, Enzo was uh, a very young, but he matured very, very quickly, and uh, along with his friends Mark and some of the other uh, guards, uh, became really an important part of our, uh, our team that was uh, in the top uh, couple of teams in the country in those days. And uh, I do recall another situation where and when I was going back to my room in my pajamas about 3 o'clock in the morning. Who comes off the elevator but Mark Jones and Enzo and all the guards on our team. And I heard years later from Enzo that, uh, that there was a big laugh about it when they decided to stay out late. What can he do? He can't bench us all. And uh, that was Enzo. He had a great sense of humor. Uh, and so the, the, the humor backfired in a way because I did bench them all and uh, Timmy Ryder at six foot seven or six foot eight ended up bringing up the ball in place of uh, Enzo. What made Enzo better than just his skills was his ability to make other people around him better. And I think a lot of us have talked, especially coaches have talked about the great players, how sometimes they really don't stand out in terms of statistics, they really don't stand out in terms of their uh, flashiness, although Enzo was, Enzo was certainly flashy. Uh, but Enzo had the ability to get other players the basketball in situations that uh, uh, they could score in situations that they could uh, do great things with it. And I think the best comparison that we have right now is Steve Nash. And Enzo was a little flashier than Steve, uh, but he could certainly score and could certainly distribute the ball like Steve did. Enzo, congratulations on being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Congratulations from your old teammates, from your old coach and coaches. And uh, it is well deserved and uh, it's about time.